Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I wanted to take a quick look at Razer Comms. So what is Razer Comms? Uh, Razer Comms is a chat program uh, specified for people who do gaming. So for instance, uh, I do quite a bit of gaming myself. I play League of Legends, played a little bit of Diablo for a little bit and all those kind of things. A uh, very popular program used right now is Skype. Uh, uh, also, um, TeamSpeak, Ventrilo, things like that, Mumble. Uh, well, Razer has come out with their own version of that called Razer Comms. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm pull over my internet browser here, is, let me pull it over here to the screen, is you're going to go to Razer's main website. If you wanted to check it out yourself, I'm going to show you a quick way. Right here, Razer Comms, it's right here on the front of the screen. Uh, it is in beta, so keep in mind when you download it, there may be errors, there may be problems, uh, things like that. You're pretty much just trialing it out. I have used it myself. I'll, I'll give you guys a quick review. So you can click on the Razer comms. i uh, let you know a quick overview. Crystal clear voice chat, all in one for messaging. You can do friends and groups. You can stay in game and have it overlay over your screen so you can see who's talking, things like that. Uh, and then they just let you know, hey, keep a reminder, send your feedback so they can fix bugs and all that kind of good stuff. They have a couple quick videos of it. But right here at the bottom, download for Windows. Okay? It's real easy. Download it. Install it. Once you have it installed, you're going to see an icon on your screen that looks like this. Okay? Double-click the icon. And I'm going to go over a quick review of the settings and things like that. You'll notice if you don't have an account, just create one. It is free. So uh, I already have like a Razer mouse and a Razer keyboard, so I already have an account with them. Right here, you can choose whether or not to be stay logged to for it to keep you logged in or not. I put in the wrong password. All right. So once you put in the right password, uh, it will go ahead and connect. You'll notice that I have a couple friends here. They're not online just because I've been trialing it out. They have their little advertisement here at the bottom. Um, I think that's Razer's way of making it free to you guys. Um, but you can um, look up friends. So down here at the bottom, if you hit find friends, it gives you an option to search for usernames, uh, people who already have Razorcom accounts. You can also connect with Skype friends. So that's pretty cool. You can invite them. And of course, Facebook, the biggest uh, social networking site available. Uh, you can go ahead and log in. And then you can find everybody that uses it or, or suggest it to them and start, start using it and trialing it out yourself. Right here on the side is your friends list. So once you have some friends um, on there, you can see whether they're online or not. It's really cool. The next tab over, this is for groups. So you can create a group for League of Legends. You can create a group for WoW, if you play WoW, Planet Side, any of those kind of things. Over here on the right shows the games that I've recently played on it. So you'll notice if I hit the little play button, it will launch that game for you. So you actually don't have to find Diablo, double click it. You can actually launch the game right from here. If this advertisement ever gets annoying to you like it does me, I just exit out and it's gone. Next button over um, is if you have any notifications, people send you friend requests, missed calls, uh, messages, things like that. Up here at the top, the really cool thing I liked about it is you can create a profile. I thought that was really interesting. So you notice here I can edit my profile, change my password, view my history, log out, and I can quit. So if I hit uh, edit profile, it pulls up this little tab here that's pretty much in settings. You'll notice Stephen Foster, my nickname, which is I put as my gamer tag, my date of birth, age, language, where I live, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of neat. I think they're going to end up adding more things with that, maybe be able to find people around you, trying to make it their own social thing. Under the About tab, you can see the version. You can check for updates. Um, In-game. So when you're in a game, you can hit Control tab to bring up the options. Uh, it also lets you know you can control the overlay. The overlay is when you're playing a game, if you want this to be overlaid over your screen, you can make it transparent so you barely see it or you can make it solid. Um, it lets you know you can control all of your notifications when someone starts playing a game, when someone sends you a message, all that kind of good stuff. Under the audio settings, it was very easy. you notice I'm using a blue mic, the Snowflake. You can scroll down. You can pick any mic that you want. Um, you can have it on auto adjust and you can choose the output for the sound. Uh, and you can hit auto, uh, start an audio test. If you hit start an audio test, what that does is uh, it allows you to test your voice and play it back to yourself to make sure everything's working right. It worked pretty good for me. I tried it out. 
for the chat, of course, you can do push the push to talk. If you don't want your mic to be open all the time, you can hotkey it to tilde or control tab, whatever it is that you want. So uh, there's no no noise all the time if you have a lot of background noise. Uh, some other settings in here is you can show your history, open it uh, in tabs instead of windows, you know, warn when closing uh, multi-chat tabs, all kinds of cool customizable settings here that I left default. I never changed any of them. They were really good for me. Under the general settings, you can have it so this launches automatically with windows, uh, the notifications, and when to play sounds. So I haven't changed any of these things. It's worked great for me. Um... Also, if you click, I believe, on there, that opens up your settings as well. And right here at the top is their feedback on beta. So if you click the feedback on beta, uh, it gives you the email. You can tell them there's a problem. I ran into a couple times where it had crashed on me. So, of course, I sent the log file and I let them know because it actually is a very nice product. I've tried it out along with Skype. So if I loaded Skype up, you'll notice I have both up here at the same time. Let me go ahead and start my task manager. You'll notice that um, Razor comms, I believe, where am I at here? So Skype is running at 112 and Razor comms is at 103. So it uses slightly less resources than Skype, which is kind of cool. And I believe that's because Skype gives you a bunch of other stuff, like you can make real calls, uh, a lot more advertisements and things like that. I have found Razor comms to be a little bit more basic and easy. Uh, unfortunately, none of my friends are online right now, so I can't show you a quick chat um, or, or how it works with them. But when you're actually in the call, it's kind of cool because you can lower individual mic settings. So if uh, Lux in here is, is too high, I can lower his his mic compared to XRY's. Um, works really well. Like I said, give it give it a try. Let me know what you guys think about it. It's just Razor's way of getting into the chat programs for gaming, and I think they're going to implement more things with it, which we'll see in the future. Uh, it's free. Can't hurt to try it out. Let them know what you think. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, thumbs up. Let me know if you want to hear about anything else or if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a nice day.